All right, I'm back, and the house has been upgraded a little bit. Looks a bit silly, but oh, what's this noise? Oh no, I think Val's gone underground. Um, so we've just added twins to our growing family. Double the babies means double the memories. And we picked up Charlotte. We've picked up Alexandra. Oh, Val is starting to feel a bit ill. Well, what are you going to do? She's got another wish. Let's see. We don't have any pancakes, but I'm sure you'll be picking up Alexandra soon. So, the house is not vastly improved. Um, my terrain paints broke while I was trying to put down some mulch and um, finish the terrain paints. All I managed to get down was this flagstone, which is not exactly the right shape, but I have this problem where sometimes all the terrain paints turn into this weird gray stone stuff and there's no fixing it without exiting the game and I didn't want to quite do that yet, so... Anyway, the house has been recolored to look a little bit more like... brown. Well, I don't know what's going on there. And... Inside I've subdivided the babies into their own room and sort of matched it to the, um... to the cribs-ish. This is very quick and dirty. I did this in about 15 minutes, so nothing miraculous has happened here. And um, this room, I <laughs> I really ran out of money and I, I'm afraid to spend any more, so we don't have a rug or anything, but yeah. So let's have a look at everybody and get this straightened out. So Val has decided to go underground. This happens a lot when you have twins. I don't know what you do to fix it. Hopefully she'll come home soon. And Cyclone has walked into a bush. Great job, Cyclone. I don't know why this happens. Really don't enjoy it. It seems to have happened to me the last five times I've had twins. So... He's really tired, and he is holding, I think, oh, nope, he's holding Alexandra, who was born second. All right, Alexandra, we're going to give her a quick bottle, and just to top everything off, and we'll rechange this diaper. We'll give her a new teddy bear. And once you have done that, I tried to place these conveniently, but I think I failed. Charlotte has gone to the public pool. Yeah, that's just great, Val. Are you going to come home anytime soon? Here you are. So, Charlotte's hungry. Why are we on four speed? So we're just getting her ready. Oh, I didn't tell you to go to bed, so... You need to eat a piece of fruit. Have some grapes. And Val... Put the baby in the crib. And eat something. How about garlic? Oh, it's worth 15 similes. Oh, how about an onion? Oh, crud. We didn't give the baby a bear. Kids. Toys. Wogglesworth Snuggles Bear. And that's to Charlotte. So I put this... I always forget to... that this window... none of the curtains in my game fit it. So... The mini blinds also don't fit it because this... the separating line on it goes through them and it looks really strange, so... This window is really cheap for a window that takes up three, three little tiles on the grid, but 
Let's fast forward while we're sleeping. Babies are fine. I hope nobody works soon. Grandma Mimi was excited to hear about the birth of the twins. While on vacation, she found two mystical toys and sent them to the twins. The seller said if the children gain relationship with it, mystical occurrences may happen as the children age. Obtain the mail to place the toys in the twins' inventories. So, what I've learned about this is that that's this from Generations, and it's the imaginary friend. And I have learned to absolutely hate the imaginary friend, so we are not going to be playing with any imaginary friends in this game, at least if we follow our current plan, because they tend to block tiles permanently and incorrectly, they get in people's way, and they are just really, really extremely creepy and they terrify me, so... No imaginary friends will be selling them or putting them into a parent's inventory or something, anything to not have to suffer through them. Okay, I'm back. I'm really excited because we finally had our babies about, what is it, three hours and something in. So now we've got the hard part of figuring out when to wake up Valhalla and Cyclone because they went to bed when the sun was up. So luckily nobody has anything they have to do today. Right. Uh-oh. He has a new work metric. Stories and reviews. Oh yeah. I don't know how hard we're going to work on this job, though. It's just kind of some extra cash. So Cyclone's probably going to be up first. I'm going to have him get the mail. And pretty soon... Well... Actually, he's probably going to have to deal with Alexandra, so she's going to be upset pretty soon. So we'll do snuggle, play, snuggle, diaper, and by then, Charlotte's probably not going to be the happiest either. Oops. So we'll have him take care of them a bit and get the mail. And Valhalla, she wants to finish that upgrade. Oops. A History of One for Cyclone Castle. Styles McGraw wants to be immortalized in print and you're just the writer to do it. Write a biography about him and deliver a copy to improve our relationship and earn some money. Gosh, well, it just really wants me to write a book, doesn't it? Fine. Fine. We'll do it. Maybe. So, Ahala needs to finish this upgrade. And actually, while she's at it, why not take a shower as well? We don't have anything fun in our house. That's kind of a problem. Oh, there you go, Cyclone. That's your, your call. I'd like to get something fun, but I have 389 simoleons, so really today we need to make some money. Where is that the newspaper? There we go. We'll read that. I just have to remember to get her up before she gets... Oh yeah, we're gonna have poopy diaper soon. Just reorganizing this a little bit.
So, Valhalla, I think we're gonna get you up at about probably two. And I actually need somebody to make us some money today. I guess we could go over to the consignment store and see what we wind up with. Oh, there's our dirty diaper. Darn it. We need to work on getting their needs all synchronized so we can take care of them all at once and then walk away for several hours. Or Blue Nauru. I really like the color of this blanket. It looks very soft. It's about the only thing I like about this room. Well, that's life on a budget. Oh, we got a gift! Tamara Donner has bought you a leaf shelter for your wedding. And Emma bought us a rustic water pump. And Blair bought us a stereo. I think that's the cheapest stereo, so we might actually keep it. Molly French got us a drafting table. Oh, cool. So this will make us some money. Drafting table, 750. See, that's the 200 stereo. I think there's actually a cheaper one. Let's see. It's in the living room. Oh yeah, there's this one, but I think the easy listening stereo, yeah, it can go on there. But, oh, this one can too. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sell easy listening stereo. Oh my. This looks like it's for a purpose, but I don't think we're up to that purpose yet. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, 38.50. Oh, that's a lifesaver. It feels kind of like cheating. Oh, that thing is... that's pretty. I could probably use this, but... It's worth a lot of money, and it would charge us a lot of bills, so... Goodbye. Wow, guys, thanks for the 7,000 simoleons. That was fantastic. I have to think about how to spend them. Wasn't really expecting that to happen again so soon. Couple married in quaint ceremony. Local inhabitants Cyclone Sword and Valhalla Castle were married yesterday in a small ceremony. We didn't want a lot of people nosing about our first hours as a married couple, said Cyclone Sword. Kissing in front of a large group is just gross. Well. And some horse won some hunt. Good work, horse. Right, Cyclone needs something to do. So he wants to go on a date, pick flowers, light fireworks. And we also need to remember to work on his lifetime wish. He's going to be hungry. The baby's hungry as well. Well, let's have some of these waffles. Then we'll feed Charlotte. And by then, she's going to have a messy diaper, hopefully. Change her diaper. Quick shower. Oh my gosh, Valhalla, get up. Hmm. So the question is, should we work on our silly little career, which makes 50 simoleons an hour? Oh my god. We really need some chairs. Let's deal with this. 
think we're gonna have to place the dining table in front of that window. is so bitterly ugly. I see Seasons gave me a new cheap one. Doesn't really look like a dining table. Gosh, we've got so much money now, we could just splurge a little. Wow. This is kind of handy because it gives you the chairs as well. I don't think it really... I don't think there's going to be any way to make that fit in with what I've got though. It's gonna bother me. Unless, let me see what other textures it has. Mm, yeah. I think we're just gonna get this little... Seasons one. Oh. Oh. Plastic chairs. I think we can probably deal with these chairs. Yeah, that's not gonna go next to the bench, so just do it this way. There. Good enough for now. So, Valhalla, that didn't really work out very well. Why don't you have some breakfast? Have a shower. Oh uh, man, I don't think our diaper's gonna be ready. We'll just play with the baby until critical mass is reached in the bladder region. Oh, we could get a dishwasher. That would be good. Come on, Charlotte. You know you want to pee. You know it. There we go. <laughs> so once we're playing we're done playing with Charlotte, let's get Alexandra's social up a little bit. <laughs> and now we have to decide what we're going to do. Let's head over toward the festival. And see if we can get some more tickets. And maybe some more wildflowers. Oh, my game is lagging really badly. There's a cop. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eugene Hunter, I don't recognize him. So we really need a source of fun on the lot. And I'm not sure what the best one is. I should have had Cyclone take one of the babies with him. So that way Valhalla could leave the house if she wanted as well. Oh well. 
All right, the shower now cleans itself, so we never need to think about the shower again. Except it'll probably break, like, right away. Val wants to pick up the baby, so I'm just gonna satisfy that. Do we really want to buy a horseshoe court? I don't even know where you find them. I guess we should find out. Well, you can have a roller skating rink on your own lot. I think this is probably two pips upward of fun, which is not the greatest. Well, we've got a lot of money right now. This is awful to have in our front yard, but I've never used it before, so just checking it out. She wants to play it with somebody. Can you play it alone? Did we ever get enough? Oh, hey, we've got 15 tickets. Let's get some fireworks. Oh, free food. Cyclone, you're in your pajamas. It's evening in the park and it's crowded and you're in your pajamas. I'm not sure what I think of that. Okay, so we determined last time that the sparklers are not fireworks, so I bet the red glare is fireworks. <laughs> Run away! Ah! So what's gonna happen? Is there gonna be a terrible accident? There are a lot of people standing here. Oh my gosh! Well, that did not count as lighting fireworks. That's totally insane. If that's not fireworks, what is? Oh, so I've probably made a note about it by now, but I've since learned, after obsessing about umbrellas when I first got seasons the umbrellas actually just act like a right a lightning rod and they will get you shocked by lightning and that can potentially kill you so it's better to just get soaking wet and take the minus 10 mood hit go figure well maybe we'll try the holiday cannon will that count as fireworks christopher says no <laughs> so that's all. And that didn't count as fireworks. Well, you know what? Screw this wish. Just screw it. Show the sky exactly how hard your sim intends to celebrate by lighting off a bunch of fireworks. Bull. Just doesn't work. Light many firecrackers. Yeah, these can just stuff it. Because that didn't work. Let's play with the family fun water arena. 
I don't know why we're still doing this. I guess, well, he's, it's just about bedtime, so let's just have the biggest water balloon fight the world has ever seen. How are you doing, Val? Okay, Alexandra's hungry, so no more of that. Huh? 